Alright YouTubers, I'm uh, going to be ranting today about um, disabilities and the way people treat you at times. Now for many of you watchers, which are there of course, uh, you may not know that I suffer with a disability called cerebral palsy. Now, um, the disability I have is, uh, can be severe, it depends on, the, sorry, uh, there's different levels of severity out there. For example, me, I can walk and talk pretty well, but not 100%. Uh, you might hear a little bit of a lisp in my voice, but you know, that's part of the disability. Now, uh, you take it as it comes, really, things just happen. Um, yeah, uh, the thing I'm going to talk about is basically people look at me with the disability I've got, and um, it's not necessarily their own, it's not necessarily their fault, they're not doing it on purpose, but sometimes they will treat me like. I don't know, um, the way they'll say things, they'll be like, oh, do you want some help, are you okay? Now, I don't mind people being genuinely helpful, like if I fall over in front of them, help me up by all means, just don't be patronising and fucking annoying like that. that. That's the sort of shit that really gets on my nerves, the stuff that really, you know, you treat them like a five-year-old. I'm 21, not two. I can get myself up, brush myself off, and carry on. Now, saying that, I don't mind people being caring. It's when they're so caring that they'll be stupid about it. They'll, uh, they'll fuss all over me. Uh, the brilliant thing about this disability is, well, and it toughened me up because from a very young age I was falling over a lot more than younger than my classmates so um, essentially like, I remember one time I was in primary school and I tripped over now the teacher came running over scared the life out of me it scared the life out of them for no reason. There's me, a, uh, I was about, what, four or five years old, and, <laughs> and essentially, I I just got up, brushed myself off, and then they come over and panicking, and uh, all this, you hurt, you hurt, and I'm like, me, the amount of times I've done it, I just looked at it, and uh, it'll heal up just wasn't phased. They were running around like they just chicken. That reminds me of another time I had a nosebleed, right? So there's me, like nosebleed now, they're panicking, oh Miss Norman, Miss N that's my mum. They're ringing my mum out asking her what they're doing and then my mum can hear me in the background going, it's alright, it's just a nosebleed. In what world does the kid not freak out more than the teacher? How does the teacher freak out more than the student? It's the over patronising shit that I can't stand. I mean, I can understand you care and stuff, but seriously, it gets to the point where it just gets annoying. You know what I mean? I mean, my my girlfriend, Abby, Abby Small. She she runs a blog blog every couple of weeks. I'll put a link it I'll put a link in the description to one of them for her. I love you, but anyway, getting off topic. <coughs> my bad. Anyway, right, so um yeah. There's something else with disabilities that annoy me. It's people that sit around and moan about it, right, but don't
don't actively go out and do stuff. Like me, me I'm mumbling about it, I know it. But I go gym, I go to the gym, I, I walk everywhere I go. So I'm doing stuff to try and keep it, keep it, uh, less active if you will. But walking, there's only so much I can do because of my asthma. Sorry, I don't know why you. Uh, yeah, so basically, there's only so much I can do because of my asthma, and um, I do what I can. You know, so that means I can moan. I just I'm able to moan about it because I do something to try and sort it out. But it's these people I think that sit around all day moaning their asses off, but don't do shit. These are the people that really fucking piss me off. They do my fucking brain in. And it's like, get off your ass and do something. It's like, oh, I can't walk, I can't walk. Then try it. Use your walker, use your legs if you can, to a point. Do something about it. Now, I'm not being discriminating against disabilities because I have one. So, you know, but I'm saying if you want to walk or something like that, it's not going to come to you like a piece of easy stuff. It's not easy. Nothing in life is worth doing is ever, ever easy. You need to work for it. And if you don't work for it, you're never going to get it. You know what I mean, people? It's just basic common sense. But then again, common sense really not common at all really when you think about it is it I mean I'll admit I don't use my common sense all the time people will know me will say that a lot you know I mean it's just general you know so if you focus on something and you really focus on it and you want it a lot you'll get it but going back to the main point about patronising people, I mean, just want to slap them around the face at times. I mean, serious to God. Why, why make somebody feel that shit? If they're not a child, if they're not a child, don't treat them like one. They'll have a whole lot of respect, more respect for you if you don't treat them like a little child, alright, it's just not the done thing. Yeah, so, you know, and as for, I'm not going to lie, over my period of my life I've met some really nasty people, and there are some nasty ass people out there. Hell, I can be a nasty guy, if you wind me up. Like everybody's got a nasty side, it's just it's deciding when to use it. Now me, I I have to have a very good reason for getting really angry. I mean these rants ain't angry, these are just um these these rants ain't anger, it's mostly um it's mostly just dabbing. <laughs> it's not Anger, it's just uh, things that get on my nerves. They don't make me angry, they just get on my nerves. You know, I mean, these people who patronise me don't get me angry, they wind me up a little bit, which is why I did the video. Now, if I, if I could, I'd, um, I'd cure me. Uh, not myself, but I'd cure, not just myself, but I'd cure every disability in, on the planet if I could, but I'm not magic, so I can't quite do that, you know, but, you know, every, most times people would ask me, would you rather have the disability or a million quid? Would you rather not have the disability or have a million quid? That's what they say, sorry, I got that wrong. But 
you know what I usually say I'd rather have them I'd rather have the money they're like you wouldn't have rid of the disability no and uh, because why the disability is part of who I am I wouldn't be half the person I am without without what's going on in my life even down to bullies and shit right because they have hardened me up you turn me into an arsehole a bit but you then you want me to apologize for you to you when I get all fucking shitty with you you want me to apologize for being a dick to you when you fucking being twice as bad to me I don't fucking think so but yeah, so I'm not going to apologise for being a dick when you're the one that made me the dick. But back to it, right, the um, point being is the disability made me who I am and n n actually including that, the, my parents, God, I cannot look, I cannot tell you how much I owe my parents. They are the best thing that is, that is on this planet to me, and I can never tell you how much I love and respect them. They, well, just put it in this respect, without them, I wouldn't even be walking. Obviously, without them, I wouldn't be born either, but without their, their, um, their aspirations, Without their effort, I would never be walking. There are certain people in this world who just wouldn't have bothered. Not my parents though, I love them to bits and without them I'd be nothing. Alright, uh, I'm going to go now, so I'll talk to you later.